Hi everyone, it's Rosemary Morris from Rosemary Morris Art. I wanted to share with you today this little um, single signature uh, journal that I've made for my granddaughter. She's actually very into cacti. Um, devil's head cactus. <laughs> I don't know why it looks like the devil's head, but there you go. Um, so there's this little card. I've got these in a box of postcards of floral things and there were a lot of cactus in there so I thought I'd use them here so I've put some leaves here a little bit a uh, little ghost leaf this is some very sparkly uh, braid down the side and a little pink flower to match that which actually has a cute little ladybird or a little bug on it so it's tied together with some seam binding it has some charms on it, of little flowers. Turn that one around. And that one. And that one. And little tabs. So I'll have a look inside. So inside here there's a pocket with a lovely card, which I say is postcards. And I've gone around the edge of them with some green inks, just to give them a nice finished look and that's a paper, uh, pocket made out of a paper bag oops if I can get it back in there you go and a little flower up there these were Tim Holtz wildflower and I cut them out of uh, some silver paper which I'd uh, gone over with alcohol inks so they've got these lovely colors on them which look really nice I put used a lot of stickers in here she was in a shop with me and helped me pick out a, a lot of stickers for what she thought was my work, but it was for her. <laughs> this is a little book page of flowers, little hedgehog. Then there's a, a round pocket with a little round tug with a butterfly on it. She can write on the back of that. A nice leaf, some more stickers more of those flowers a little bit of pleated fabric down there with a nice brad on the top of it oh that covers up the, the prongs on the brad nice little rabbit some more stickers down there this was one of the cards that I actually cut out and um, cut out the name of antique lace she can actually use that as a tuck spot if she wants to another book page that's a bookmark for her I don't know if you can see the name is uh, it's got gold not gold bronze pen around it and on the back it's pretty flowers a bit of sari silk with some flowers on it this is the um, cut some out this was a strip of paper and when I cut cut the flower out, which I'll use later on in the book, um, I was left with this lovely silhouette. So I thought I'd use that. Then there's a pretty bird on some, I don't know what it is. It feels very strange, that paper. And it's got Japanese writing on it. Some lovely handmade paper there with, with leaves in it. It's just gorgeous. And that's a bit of the handmade paper I had left over. I just pleated it and put that on the top of it. Then this is the centre. Again, some more pretty cactus. In the centre of my books, I always put a, a card because then this doesn't rip the paper. And that's some lovely antique uh, sparkly sort of, it's got metal in it there, gold metal, which is rather nice. Another little tuck, some more of those alcohol ink ones. This is beautiful velvet ribbon. She might want to pin some things on there. And that paper again, the other little bit of the bird. Some more washi with flowers on it. Another little tuck spot. 
You can see that this is the black that I cut out of the silhouette little squirrel. These are so cute. Piece of pr uh, pleated. I was going to say printed, but it's pleated <laughs> fabric with another brad on the top. And there's another one of those little tags in the round. Another book page. Another silhouette. And there's that paper bag pocket again, with the butterfly stuck on it. And this, they're just beautiful, these um, postcards. So I've got a whole lot more because I think there were 150 or something in the box. I'll just get the box and show you. So. Here it is, if you want to get them. Botanicals, 100 postcards. And they come in this really lovely container. And most of them are, are flowers, but there are some fruit ones at the beginning, which I've sorted out the fruit ones. And then they're lovely flowers. So you can see the difference it makes when you, and I've sewn around this one as well, when you put that green on it, or you could put pink on it to go with the flowers just edge it. I didn't want it particularly to look very antique so I didn't use what I usually do on these things. Um, so the green is very different for me to use. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye!